reminder for myself always, an abdukul ajeezu, da'ifu, miskinu, zalimu, jahal. And by the grace of Allah that we are still in existence. Alhamdulillah in this holy month of Rabbil Awwal, the month of the birth of Allah's rahmah and mercy Sayyidina Muhammad that the eternity of these teachings that Allah's Prophets they come to perfect our reality and to give from their understanding from Sayyidina Yunus salam that Zulnoon and that from the understanding of Rashideen and Mahdi'een wa Kamileen that these are states in which the spiritual guides are to be taken and to be dressed and blessed. So they are of benefit to Ummatul Muhammad And in last days there are many who walk around talking about their shaykh is Kamil and for us in understanding from the teaching so that before people say somebody's Kamil they have to have the reality of this understanding that from just the word insan Allah puts all its coding for us to understand and every reality has to be from the left side moving to the right side especially for Arabic. That the goal is this alif is to reach Allah's Divinely Present, Izzatullah, Izzat Rasul, Izzatul Mu'mineen is hidden within this reality of insan. This noon is a nur and a moon. This noon is a diya, is a nar, is a fire and then is a star. There's a sun and there's a moon in this. These are the two lights of insan. When Sayyidina Zulnoon didn't have the light that was necessary for his guidance, he had one of these lights of a nur, but that nur was not enough of a reflection to guide his people to the reality in which he was needing to guide that community. He took himself upon a ship, went into the ocean, the storm of the ocean means there's always a reality for eternity. This is Allah's ocean of rahmah. Allah took him, threw him into that ocean of rahmah that you are not yet complete and common. And in that ocean a big whale from awliyaullah came from Ummat Muhammad Huti, one of the Ahlil Hu showed up as a whale and took his soul into their reality, into their soul and perfected his lights. Perfected his reality, threw him back up onto the shore of dunya for guidance. Now go and guide your people. Layla anta subhanika inni kuntum min ad-dhalimeen fastajabna najayna min al-ghab wa dhalika najayna al mu'mineen. Means this way is based on negating ourselves. I'm nothing Ya Rabbi and glory be to you and that I am an oppressor to myself and Allah's reply is correct. You are definitely an oppressor to yourself but I give a najat to those who believe. Allah wants the door of humility. So then they begin to teach us this letter, this word of insan is our way of reality. That we're trying to open the reality of this noon which is a moon, it's a nur and the nur shamsi wal shamsi diya wa qamarun nur. So the qamar is a reflection. When we're saying qamarun, qamarun is a lower level, Prophet is shamsu. Lower level is to say qamarun, we don't even feel comfortable saying that qamarun are awliya. They are the moons of this nation means they begin to teach that a moon is merely a reflection of light. Means they have to be given and through their training Rashidin that Allah gave that they're the people of Irshad. 
and our Rashid is dressing them that you have been given the way of guidance, means they cannot become Rashideen unless Allah says, you're now going to be destined to be a moon. As a moon you'll be taught you don't have any light, it's not about you, it's about you being nothing, right? So, Pharaoh ana rabbi al-ala, Pharaonic teaching on this earth from shaitan is that you are everything, you have everything. Everything contained within you so that I build myself thinking I'm something. Allah's door is different says, no, no, admit you have nothing. So then the moon comes as a symbol because somebody asked today or went somewhere and the person was speaking very nice and was talking very eloquent and the first thing we asked is, did they praise Sayyidina Muhammad excessively? And every word of their talking, was it about the haqiqat al-Muhammadiyah If not, it's not from these people. If someone talks too much about Allah they don't know their name, they don't know the realities of Sayyidina Muhammad why are they talking about Allah As if they forgot the Imam, you forgot the one who's in front of you, you forgot the one leading your way, you forgot that everything is based on Sayyidina Muhammad It's a different level of a teacher. When somebody's a scholar and they talk excessively in one way but they don't mention anything from the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad they're not a moon. The moon doesn't talk about Venus, it doesn't talk about Pluto, it doesn't talk about anything other than Shams. The moon, its nazar is completely on the reality of the Shams. As a result of how strong their firasal and their qadam and their path is and their istiqam, the firmness of their path is going to be how much light and power they're able to reflect from the presence of the sun. And that's why Prophet described, I am uh, my companions are all stars. Why? Because Prophet is hinting, I'm the star maker, if all my companions are stars then you better believe I'm the one who makes stars. Is the reality in which He brings this creation into becoming Shams. Shams is a diya. When Nabi Musa wanted to, to reach to the fire, the word in Qur'an is a diya. Diya is a fire, is a divine light that must be struck. So it means the reality of fire and diya is a sun, is a star. So Prophet was teaching at that time that stars and planets are different. A star is a fire, it's gaseous, it lost all its mass and it's an eternal flame burning, burning, burning. So there must be a star lit in the believer for this insan to work, the heart must be lit. He must be following these real insana kamil whom dressed them, blessed them and lifted them up. And then they begin to teach, your life has to be the outer noon, that you have to take a path in which to achieve nur. And that nur can only be achieved like the moon, take your beating, take your testing, take everything that they throw at you and remain silent and calm, patient and calm. Every difficulty in life the moon is looking at you, that's why when they want to make du'a they can ask for the intercession of the moon. As soon as you see the moon they say, recite Fatiha. The moon is a maqam, not to the moon itself, the maqam in which it represents. The first reflection of that month as soon as they see it they recite Surat al-Fatiha that, Ya Rabbi grant me the intercession of that maqam. Everything here stands for something, wa jibalan awtadan. The mountains are representing the awtads of this earth, the awliya that keep everything firm. Was lakat karam the bani. Allah just said, I gave the honor to Bani Adam, not to the mountain. The mountain re- merely represents there's an awliya in that area that holding everything to be firm upon this earth. And that's his station. Now think about the moon and the station of the moon, maqam al fardani. So then there's an awliya for maqam al fardani that represents that reality. As soon as they witness the moon, they ask for its intercession, they ask for the fatiha to be dressed by that reality. So we took a path of being this noon, 
take a path of being the moon. You take, you take, you take every type of difficulty so that this nur can begin to reflect upon you. As they're moving on this noon, this is Rashidin. If they pass all of this testing that… and this testing coming from Izzatullah, Izzat Rasul and then dress from Izzat al-Mu'mineen is coming. This Izzat of the Mu'mineen, they're Qamarun, they can make moons. Means if you follow them they teach you on how to take the difficulty. Take the difficulty, have the best of character. That's why tariqah you don't complain to anyone. You don't sit with another student and begin to complain to them. Your, your people's ears is not for your problems. Your problem is only for yourself, not even to complain to the shaykh. Because Allah put you in that condition and Allah won't relieve you of that condition until He finds what He wants of satisfaction. Can you imagine if every time you put your ear for somebody, every shaitan will come and begin to throw from your heart now every type of complaining. If you feel that you have an audience for complaining, the complaining never stops. You'll think now of everyone, I want to complain about him, I want to complain about him, I want to complain about him, I want to complain about every. I want to complain about the building, I want to complain about the landlord, I want to complain about everyone. So the tariqah Khan says, don't complain about anyone, don't talk. Take every type of difficulty, they're going to make you into a moon. This has to be then Rashidin, they have to be with somebody that is Kamileen and that everything they talk about is from where they are. So if one of these beings, they're lost in the ocean of Muhammadun Rasulullah their soul is swimming in the qalb, the ahbab, you be with whom you love, not physically Prophet spiritually. Their soul is with the soul of Prophet in the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad Everything they talk about is the horizon of what they see. They don't talk from out there. So when they're lost in the ishq, they're lost in the love, every kalam, every word, every, every ruhaniyat comes out is the love of Prophet That's why kalam al-awliya is these not. Why were they singing these nuts? Because they're lost in this love of what Allah threw them in the ocean of Muhammadun Rasulullah If you're not following that and the scholar talks too much and talks about everything else but his knowledge seems to be interesting for you, the test is that it must be Muhammadiyun, it must be the ishq and the love of Prophet If so, is one of these insan reaching to be Kamil. There is no one Kamil but Prophet and sana kamil is that everything exists within the reality of Prophet And that was the hadith of Sayyidina Uwais al-Qarani and Imam Ali Uwais al-Qarani who received the juppah of Prophet asked the two sahabi, have you ever seen Sayyidina Muhammad And Sayyidina Umar wanted to give it to him. So do you know who we are? <laughs> we spent all our life in every battle and in Imam Ali said, no I think he's asking us a different question. And out of adab Imam Ali said, I said, I saw him once that we were fixing the khiswa of the Kaaba and I lifted Prophet as soon as I lifted the whole universes appeared to me. The Prophet vanished and all the galaxies and all of Allah's creation existed within the being of Sayyidina Muhammad I saw and I looked and I looked all the way up to the neck of Prophet above that Arsh rahman and he stopped talking. And Sayyidina Wais al-Qarani said, yes, you have seen him. Means they wanted to bring the haqqaiq of Insana Kamil out that everything is in Muhammadun Rasulullah and Allah's La ilaha illallah by virtue of the La ilaha illallah means nothing is with it. There's no partner with Allah Allah's izza and might is the power of Muhammadun Rasulullah So it means everything is existing within the soul of Prophet Everything from the light of Prophet came into existence. And that's the hadith of Jabbar, that what was the first thing created, Ya Sayyidi Ya Rasulullah said, the light of your Prophet, this light of, of the Messenger that there was no throne, there was no Kaaba, there was no Bayt al-Mahmud, there was no angel without the light of Muhammadun Rasulullah 
and Allah is a might and zikr is the power of it. And that's why Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala Ali Sayyidina Muhammad, even the salawat on Prophet is Allah's zikr and might upon everything. So it means then these people must be taking a path. If they're going to be Rashideen and rightly guided and given irshad, Allah is going to take them on a path of the moon. They're going to be crushed and crushed and given khuluqul azim, the best of character to inherit from Prophet Adabun rabbi fa ahsanun fi ta'atib. Prophet only claim is ahsanun bi rabbi. Adabun rabbi fa ahsanun fi ta'atib. That Allah has given me the best of character, perfected my, my character and that's my only claim for my nation. So means this is the stage of receiving this noon. Then these Mahdi'een, that same shaykh has to be dressed for Mahdi'een in which he has to dress the student from this sir, from this secret. The secret that is the center of insan and that he has Nurul Anwar wa Sirat al Asrar because the Malakut is everything. The one whom has access to Malakut is owner of the murk. Power from the inside controls the outside. Your form has no power. You get a, a nail or a back pain or, or a cold, you find how da'if and how weak you are. But the one whom Allah give the power and command from malakut means his power is within the atoms and the lights. From that power Allah is dressing. So this seer and this secret, the shaykh has to take the student towards that secret. That is the secret of Yaseen Every knowledge, every reality, Nurul Anwar wa Sirat al Asrar, the light of every secret and the secret of every light. That seen has to be from Ilmu Yaqeen, Aynu Yaqeen, Haqq Yaqeen. The secret in which he's going to bestow upon the student are the heavenly knowledges, cannot be found in books, at least not tra translated and especially not by Ummi Shaykh who doesn't speak Arabic. That's a dalil for you that he's not from reading because the Ummi Shaykh has no reading, doesn't even understand the language. He's taught by one whom is powerful. So this seen, ilmu yaqeen, aynu yaqeen, haqq yaqeen. So their life on their path, when people want to say, should I go here, should I go there, should I go, well, I don't know wherever you want to go, go. Are you in a training to be a moon? Are you taking a lot of testing in your life? And are you being continuously fed ilmu yaqeen, aynu yaqeen, haqq yaqeen. These are the knowledges of certainty, not the knowledge that is in every single book or on a YouTube page unless it's a page from that reality. Aynu yaqeen are you been in training with them to close your eyes and take a path of tafakkur. Close your eyes because this world is but an illusion and begin to train yourself on how to open your heart, how to contemplate and how to see the guides in the world of light, how to receive their connection in the world of light where every fires begin to dress upon you, every ta their, the reality of their tawajjuh, the reality of their vision to be dressed upon you. The reality of tawassu to be dressed upon you, if you can see them and feel them, everything you ask from them will be conveyed like a heavenly internet. All of these realities have to be opened but in tafakkur. It's not by asking the shaykh continuously to his face, that, I want this, I want this, I want this. It's not of any value but to take a path in which you train to be nothing, you connect your heart. As soon as you connect your heart, you make a connection with them that send your fires to me, the emanations, the barakah and the blessing that dresses everything and everywhere around them. As a result then you're making your tawajjud that you're making a connection with their holy face. You see their face, they see your face and you can make your tawassul, you can begin to ask that connection that, please I'm in need of this or when they pray, they pray with their connection. Right? They close, they see, they see whom they're seeing and they begin to convey what's necessary to convey. Then of course Allah open their juzbah, their realities and haqiqat al-irshad. Allah says, you are now dressed from the reality of guidance. We've been giving you 
ilmu yaqeen, we gave you aynul yaqeen, everything of your knowledge and your vision it became a haqq and a truth for you because you saw it, you saw it with the eyes of your heart. You cannot deny it later, they saw what Allah wanted them to see means then when they speak of a haqqaiq it's real and true for them. You're not allowed to read somebody's haqqaiq and speak about it, it's not true for you so you're actually a liar when you're talking to people. So the way of haqqaiq is so truthful that Allah said, you trained in this knowledge, yes. Did you close your eyes to witness that knowledge? They say, yes. Now that you witness it, it's a haqq for you. Means now you are understanding this sir and this scene that you're being dressed with. As a result Allah brings them to that reality, that reality of the diyah. The diyah, what Nabi Musa said? He saw a fire in a distance and he told his wife, I'm going to go to the fire. So, what do you want to go to the fire for? To get some warmth or maybe some guidance. Warmth and guidance is a big difference. Allah appears to the servant in the condition that you're in. Allah is not a fire but He'll make you cold so that you seek out that reality. When you seek out that reality means that the fire has to be lit within the heart of the student. They were trained to be a moon, trained to be a moon, they had a discipline, they never left their discipline, they kept their way, kept their way until Allah said, now we're going to light your heart. And your heart going to become like a sun on earth. As soon as that heart is lit, their heart is lit like a fire. They're an eternal fire. They carry the reality of the sun greater than that sun that carried on to earth. As a result of Allah lighting their heart like a shams, they are able to consume the badness because every sun has a fuel source. It burns the badness of people and in exchange gives back out nur. So the insan whom is opened and is kamil and on a path of being kamil, not that anyone is perfect, Prophet is perfect. But on the path of that reality Allah begin to make their face qamar, a moon. Their heart been lit because baytullah. When Allah lights the heart with that light like a fire, their heart like a sun, they heat up. As a result of the sun they take the burdens and the badness of people as a fuel for their sun. The sun burns the fuel and as a result gives out nur back to people. And that becomes the reality of what insan, what Allah Adam, is what He wanted for insan. The nobility of insan is to be of service to the Divine, means to take a path in which to reach towards these realities. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifoon, wa salaamun wal mursaleen, wa hamdulillahi rabbil alameen, wa hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha. Welcome to Muhammadan Way YouTube channel, your premier destination for videos on Sufi spirituality, classical Islamic teachings and realities of the soul. With a library of over a thousand videos and new titles uploaded weekly, join us to discover true meaning and inner peace in our often troubled world. Click the link now to subscribe.